Hi, I'm Tim Bradner with Alaska Legislative Digest and welcome to Capital Views. And welcome today to Representative Josiah Patkatuk, the new representative from District 40, uh, representing Northwest Alaska. So thanks for joining us today, Josiah. Yeah, thanks, Tim, for uh, putting this together and making sure that uh, uh, we were both able to accommodate it, uh, given the timeliness of uh, the schedule with the legislature. So. Yeah, it's always hard to schedule things um, as we get toward the middle and things get pretty busy. So I want to ask you just a, a little bit, you're new to the legislature, a little bit about yourself and your background, where you were raised, where you went to school, you know, what you've been doing before you came to the uh, to, to Juno, to the legislature. Absolutely. Well, um, I just turned uh, 27 uh, about a month ago, just maybe three weeks ago here in Juneau. And um, I was born and raised in Barrow, Alaska. I graduated from Barrow High School. Uh, me and my wife got married a month out of high school and um, decided that, you know, that was the best thing for us. And then about a year later, decided to have our first child and um, start growing our family. Um, simultaneously, uh, I we started construction on our house. Uh, I, I did all the work and um, she paid for everything initially and uh, we got closed in uh, out of the weather that first, uh, 2013, that first year. And um, you know, I was working construction jobs uh, after that. And so I'd work construction during the day to make a paycheck. And then whatever I learned at work, I would bring home and apply it to the house that I was building. Uh, and then eventually got moved in, I believe in 2017. And uh, uh, throughout the course of time, we had another child and I've got a, a seven-year-old daughter now and a five-year-old son and a, actually a newborn that was born down here um, right before session started uh, in Juneau uh, on January 10. So um, a lot of new things happening for uh, 2021 for me. <laughs> well, I sort of lost count there. So how many kids? Oh, I've got three kids now, so my Ooh, wife. That's enough to keep you busy. Boy. Yeah, one girl and two boys, and the two boys are the younger ones. So. Yeah. Well, Josiah, tell me about the district. I know that, that District 40 goes from uh, Kotzebue to, to Barrow, I guess it's Utkiakvik now, and goes east to Barter Island, Kaktovik, I guess. Um, that's a huge area, uh, the size of states, whole states. How, how do you get around when you campaign? I guess you have to fly a lot. Well, so, um, you know, given the, the interesting aspect of campaigning that I, I, I bet everybody had uh, with COVID, um, I, I didn't travel uh, very much uh, to the villages. Most of my outreach and campaigning was done um, via Facebook uh, or emails or just good old fashioned sending letters. Um, but, but you are right. I mean, we've got as far south and uh, I guess south west as, as Deering and Buckland and then as far east on the coast to the Pactolik and then in the Brooks Range on Octuba Pass and south of that Bettles and Alakakit and Hughes and then everything north of that pretty much. Um, so super dynamic uh, district um, and, and some interesting, uh, I guess, uh, economics uh, involved across all of it. Uh, we've got two main boroughs, the Northwest Arctic Borough and the North Slope Borough. Um, and I had actually served on the North Slope Borough Assembly um, about uh, three years prior to uh, coming into this office. Um, and so I got a really good understanding of the North Slope Borough, but I had uh, plenty to learn and continue to learn more about the Northwest Arctic Borough and some of the interior villages um, like Alakak and Hughes and, uh, and Bettles. So, um, yeah, super, super diverse, super dynamic district and, and very large in, in uh acreage, I guess you can say. So, Also, interesting things economically going there, too. A lot of, a lot of folks may not realize, but that district is the source of our Alaska's revenue. Um, you know, it, it, your district includes the North Slope oil fields and also some of the some promising mineral pro discoveries and projects in the um, in the Nana region of northwest Alaska, including the, the Red Dog Mine. It's the world's biggest zinc mine. Um, so a lot of a lot of things happening, and I guess Anbar, uh, you're chair of the House Resources Committee, and you recently had a resolution about Anbar that went out of your committee. So you must be pay paying close attention to Anbar. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, as you mentioned, uh, we've got what has been long referred to as the breadbasket basket of the state, as far as the uh, North Slope oil fields and, and uh, you know the Anbar development uh, to the east of that, and then. As you mentioned, the Red Dog Mine, and, and uh, I guess what's on the docket now is the Ambler Mining District. 
Um, so it was an easy, uh, easy, I guess, uh, decision for me to um, aim towards uh, being on the resources committee. And uh, thankfully, I was, uh, you know, able to uh, chair the resources committee. Um, so, uh, as you said, uh, we just uh, moved out HGR 12 uh, and, and finalized it. Uh, I believe it was Monday. Um, and and yeah, a lot of a lot of interesting things going on in the district, and uh, it was it was good to uh, follow the, along with with um, I believe that was Representative Rauscher's resolution. So, you know, Josiah, one of the things that's always amused me about your district is how the um, the uh, the seat of representation has sort of gone back and forth between the Cotsview end of the district and the and the Barrow or now the Geographic end of the district. Uh, back in the day, I remember Willie Hensley represented uh, the district, and there were people prior to Willie, of course, uh, from Cotsview, and then there was Brenda Ita from Barrow, and then it, it went to Frank Ferguson in Cotsview, and then it flipped back to um, uh, to uh, Benny uh, to Nagyak, and uh, then back to John Lincoln, and now it's the ping pong has gone back to you. So do you guys, how do you guys organize that? Do you have a deal that goes back and forth? <laughs> I, I mean, I'd like to say that we all go to uh, some some river and uh, all catch some caribou and moose and then decide, but uh, that's not how it's done. Uh, uh, we, you know, there wasn't anything uh, predetermined or anything like that. I just, uh, uh, I, I think um, we've we've got a strong history of uh, making sure that uh, not only our economic interests and our resource development interests and, and things like that are represented, but um, almost most importantly, our faith and our culture. And um, that's that's I guess what it's what the significant underlier is is that um, you know we send somebody to to Juno to represent us as a people um, because we're predominantly the Inupiaq people of the of northern Alaska. So um, I, I I did the best that I could to I guess um, you know be be transparent to who I was as as somebody who um, I was born and raised in Barrow and grew up hunting and whaling and uh, doing what I could to provide for not only my immediate family, but my community, because um, culturally that's, that's what you do is you try to provide. So, you know, uh, thankfully, uh, and, and through some, some campaigning work uh, that, you know, ultimately the decision was made by the people and uh, here I am. So. Well, you followed in good footsteps uh, and it's, it's good to have somebody in the legislature who understands subsistence, who was raised partly, understands that culture. Well, Josiah, thank you very much for joining us. Um, and hopefully we, we can talk again in the future about things. It's good to, it's good to see you. Yeah, absolutely, Tim. Thank you very much. And, and as you mentioned, uh, save the best for last as far as uh, our resources, when you're talking oil, gas and mining, uh, you know, our, our animals uh, is probably one of the most important. So appreciate the, uh, the opportunity, Tim, and, and thank you for uh, taking the time. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah.